What's up guys, back to another Konosuba video, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to download Konosuba Fantastics on PC. So as you can see, I am currently playing on Bluestacks. I just beat a stage, um, you know, new event for the new Aro. Very good 3-star, by the way. Get her if you haven't already. But that isn't why you're here for today's video. So, before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe because I have had a bunch getting a lot of support. All that good YouTuber mumbo jumbo. Let's get into it. So, to download Konosuba on PC, there is going to be a link in the description because I am a Boostax affiliate. So, I get, you know, yeah, I get some stuff when you guys use my link. Very nice. Um, plus, it's very convenient, you know, because I remember when I first learned Boostacks, I had to. Like look it up and like make sure I wasn't downloading the wrong thing with this link It sends you to the page you want which is going to be this one uh, You're gonna click on this link right here, and you're going to get a blue stacks installer now if I click on it It's just gonna prompt me to update it and um, if you didn't know my Wi-Fi is being really bad right now So everything is taking forever to load I actually had to do a double take of this video because kind of super was taking like three four minutes to um, load which isn't normal for blue stacks it's just on my end unfortunately hopefully i'll get that fixed the next couple of days i have a few um i was told a few ways to fix it so i have to go to the store and do a couple things but anyway back to the reason you click on this video so once you do that you click on this link you'll get an install you click on it you'll get a pop-up um it'll be like um probably like a fourth of this screen and I'll just say install it click on it it'll probably take you a while depending on your internet speed it'll probably be faster if you're slower it'll take a while once it is done downloading you will get prompted with this screen right here so I had an older version of blue stacks and when I did that one I used the link to download a different game it prompted me to download it immediately um, when I did it for I know this version of blue stacks I don't have that game anymore but when I did for this version of Blue Stacks, it didn't prompt me and I had to go to Google Play. That's fine. Um, if you don't know what Google Play is, right here it's called Play Store. You click on it, you're going to make a Google account or log into your uh, Gmail Google account. You already have one. Once you've done that, just type in Kona Super Fantastic Days like you're doing it on any other app store. And then once it's done downloading, it'll be right here. Now, let me mute this real quick because the intro music for Konosuba is copyrighted and I'm not trying to get copyright strikes. because that'd be unfortunate. So go ahead and click on it and it will probably prompt you to transfer your account, sync your account, do all that normal Konosuba goodness. Once you have done that, it'll probably take you a little bit to download as you know, it is transferring all your stuff to this account. Unfortunately, Konosuba, you can have multiple accounts on games but you're gonna have to download and log in every single time um when i went on vacation during the re-zero collaboration when i first logged onto my phone i had to download um the files once and then it would let me log in once i logged in you can't be logged in at multiple times unfortunately but personally i don't find that a big deal because i'm always near my pc always using it and very nice so Konosuba is loading. While that is loading, let me go over some of the cool features that you have with Bluestacks that you wouldn't have on normal phones. So scroll down here. You have skill cast. I didn't know this was a thing. I mean, I knew this is a thing because if you can see right here, there's little buttons, right? Um, these are your keybinds. You can equip them to any key on your keyboard. Um, I'm not too sure. This might be auto. I know some games have them like auto put in. So this might be the uh, Konosuba default one where your skills are one, two, three, four. And then there's also other buttons for this. You can always just click on it. That's what I do personally, but you can bind them to any keys. So if you want to, oh, you press like, let's say Y. If you want to do your basic attack, you click like P, whatever it is you want to do, right? Uh, there is also macros. So right here it says focus more on the fun part of the game. Skip the tedious aspects. Master Konosuba fantastic days with macros. Pretty much, I haven't messed with this too much personally, but you can record yourself completing tasks such as, you know, you know if you auto arena or you auto EX arena, you're doing your dailies and you click like specific ones like you want bronze uh, enhancement or uh, you can record yourself doing that and it will auto repeat that process. Meaning um, if you have a set number of stages that you want to skip, I know Kinesuba has made it pretty easy. 
But let's say you're farming at certain stages and you don't want to hit skip all for everything and waste too many stamina. You record what you're doing. Um, shouldn't take you too long. Um, I'd actually would have to look into this where it's at. I think it's just on the sidebar. Uh, let me pull it up. I believe it's one of these ones. That's multi instance. We'll get to that in a second. Echo mode, location. That is not it. It's one of these. Think operations, macro. Oh, macro manager. Okay. This is the macro manager. Click on it. Uh, you record yourself doing it and bada bing. I might start doing this. I'm not too sure. Personally, I don't really care. But for those of you who just want to click a button and walk away, do whatever routine you do for your dailies. You know, do a quest, event, yada yada. Click a button and it will auto repeat that process. Meaning as long as you don't have to click on something additional throughout the day, it'll do everything for you. You can click it, move it off to the side, and come back, and your dailies will be done. Your arena runs well on auto will be done. Uh, you can do the event stages. You can farm uh, your hard modes that you wanted to farm. Obviously, you're going to have to redo it if you don't want to farm specific stages anymore, but it's all there. One click button. You can look away and be done. You know, can't do that on phone. There's also re-rolling, which, funny enough, multi-instance and re-rolling um, kind of go into the same thing. So you can have multiple instances. They use this game just because. So if you ever want to re-roll, let's say Legendary Cosmo and Aqua come out, right? And you want both of them, multiple instance, re-rolling, you activate the sync mode. And wherever you click on one will activate the other. Obviously, you'd have to have a pretty strong PC, depending on how many you have. But people have been doing this to re-roll in gotcha accounts a lot. So it's there for you if you need to. Echo mode, pretty much. Um, I don't know if you'd use this for Konosuba, but you can have multiple instances and then make it not use as much of your PC's power. Probably won't use it because the only time multi-instance is good for Konosuba is re-rolling. Other than that, you're probably just going to use the macro the most. Very, very nice feature for blue stacks. Anyway, let's go back. So as you can see in game, go ahead and turn the sound back on. I can, you know, click, go crazy. I can go to my quest, hit auto, move it over. Like, okay, boom, hit my quest. Boom, out of mind, out of sight. It's going as, let's say, you know, if you're just reading article, like, oh, I want to read more about like Hano Suba on PC. You want to read this your quest is going on the other monitor and like oh it's finished or you want to pay attention to it move it back boom it's here well anyway that's pretty much it for the video um there are some other like neat stuff you can do with blue stacks i'm not too tech savvy on it because i just kind of you know i just play one game on it myself but you know if you want to learn more about it i'm sure there are guides on it or you can ask me in the comments and if i know it i'll let you know but anyway that's it for today's video you know link in the description for the download link let me know uh your thoughts on this if you prefer this if you like playing on your phone um you don't want to have to switch back and forth all that good stuff if any any questions let me know in the comments and i will catch y'all in the next video thanks for watching